what is going on everybody another video for you guys dream collective is the name of the channel my name is winthor back with another one let's get right to it for you shooters out there let me ask you a question then we're gonna hop into it i'm gonna put you guys put you guys in the spotlight real quick when you are shooting what's your point like what's the point when you pick up that camera and you hit record or you hit the shutter button like what's what's your point if you get booked for a job and they tell you hey we want this is our end goal for our business this is our end goal for the shot do your thing what is what starts going through your head for me and what i'm passionate about that allowed me to pick up the camera and allowed me to really just get obsessed with the camera is i like telling stories at the end of the day at the end of the day i'm a storyteller and it just happens that my form of storytelling happens to be through a lens. At the end of the day, the visuals are one thing. Just to have amazing visuals, high frame, you know, great frame rate, you know, it's, you got all your settings dialed in, good color science, all that good stuff. But behind all of that, right? What's the message that you're trying to convey? What's the story behind everything that you do, right? I don't care how good of a camera you got. I don't care how well you know the specs, all that is fine. All right, let me see the story. When I look at somebody's work, I'm trying to get lost in it. I wanna get, I wanna like dive into the work. Still image, or if it's a video, film, anything like that. I feel what truly, truly makes a good photo, what makes a good film, short film, what makes a good video is how powerful the story is can you create the narrative what is the narrative right so anything that i do client work my personal stuff that i share like to display i like to just create some sort of story something that can kind of pull you in right and it doesn't have to be this humongous you know lavish deep storyline but i almost want you to have this kind of feeling this kind of emotion like when you look at it like it kind of paints a certain picture or leaves it open-ended and you kind of lead the way it puts you in the spot of the character and it allows you to kind of like teleport for a little bit right that's that's my idea of storytelling so with a lot of my shots and i think i'll probably do another video about this that's kind of where my style goes and how i shoot it's not so much the color grading it's not so much okay making sure you know i pull all the greens out i want it to have a moody look i want it to have a very it's more so the composition and am i able to nail the story along with with the composition if that makes sense and i'll show some examples probably in the next video so i think that's where my style really comes in where a lot of the shots that i do it's technically textbook wrong but for what I'm trying to convey and the message that I want to convey or this type of story that I want to bring behind it, it's right. You know, and that's one thing with any of this, like you learn all the rules and you break them. That's that's just how this thing, that's just how it goes in any form of art, whatever that you're doing, learn the rules and you got to bend it a little bit, right? That's how you're going to set the, you know, break, break the mold, right? Set yourself apart from others. And for me, and I shied away from it, but coming back to it and really understanding my passion, the real love is storytelling. Being able to either tell a story or to capture someone else's story and be able to freeze it and to hold it and we can save it forever. I think for me, that's where the majority, if not all of my work is gonna start going to is telling that story like i definitely on a long form version when i'm 100 start to get more into the documentaries and getting into the long form content mind you i still love all the crazy high special effects super fast cuts all that good stuff i'm all i'll always always be a fan of that that's what i love to do i learned that's what got really got me interested in this whole game but for the long game for the long haul going with stories telling a story being able to tell a story that's where it's really at like if you're able to take out all your special effects that you got on after effects if you're gonna take out all of that all of those plugins that you got and you just had camera subject environment can you tell me something can you can you lead a story with that can you curate a story 
right? If you have a client, they're like, look, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Do what you do. As opposed to just putting a bunch of videos, you know, and just throwing it in there and cut, 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 and then, all right, see you later. But creating, you know, a, a intro to your character, you know, showing a, a dilemma, showing a problem that the character's going through, or showing their drive behind their why. And they're kind of leading that train, leading that trail, leading that journey, and carrying that journey, allowing the viewer to carry that journey, you know, until they reach that pinnacle of success. And then even sometimes showing the failure, but then showing the comeback, all those things. I think that makes a good, good artist, you know, in my opinion. I think being able to have those emotions and tell those emotions through a collection of photos, through a film, a short film, video, I think that is where you can separate yourself from being good to great and what can separate yourself from people kind of knowing who you are to where your name ring, rings bells. Not saying that's all that it, you know, it's not always about that, but like I said before in many other vi videos, you know, this is business as well. What separates you? What makes you different from everybody else who has an expensive camera? You know, what makes you different from different from anyone else who got a MacBook and Adobe Cloud, Adobe Suite, right? What are you bringing to the table to where they, they need you? They can't just go out and just get a carbon copy, right? That's the difference. So tell your story. What stories do you want to tell? What stories can you tell? On your next project, whose story do you do you know that needs to be told? Or maybe you need to go and find it, find the next story and be the one. I was just watching a documentary called 14 Peaks about this crazy dude from Nepal who climbed all the top tallest mountains in the world, right? Like crazy. But it wasn't just about the mountains, it's really like a character study about someone who has this crazy, insane drive to achieve and to push the boundaries and, and to break boundaries and to break what we think are barriers of things that we cannot do. That's what it really was. It was more like a character study. So I was like, oh, okay. And he had some GoPros and a drone and that's it. But he was able to captivate and capture the emotion. And then the backdrop was obviously just the crazy visuals. If you haven't seen this on Netflix, go see it before they take it off. It's, it's incredible. You start watching it and then you just, you're like, all right, this is crazy. But then eventually you're just like, all right, let me, now I got to finish the whole thing because they're just pulling you in and you're seeing the struggle. You're seeing all of these different emotions and then you're putting yourself in that type of atmosphere and be like, all right, how would I handle that? Like, oh, I would have been given up type thing. And then that's what gives you that inspiration and motivation to say, all right, let me go ahead and do it too. So that's my little take on storytelling and where I think all content is leading, like long, that has longevity. I think that's where we're going. Not, not even I think, I know that's where we're going. That's where it's going. That's where I'm definitely taking what I want to do because that's what initially got me into it. And then through everything that's been going on, it's like now I truly want to just capture moments, freeze time, you know, and be able to cherish it and e immortalize certain memories right so it's more than just a bunch of clips throw together on my timeline and see later like i want this to be something that you can use as a study piece you can look at this years from now and it still holds a certain value to it all right so let me get out of here another video is on the way you already know if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit the like button more videos are on the way